Hi Pisces, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm going to be doing your weekly love reading for October 30th through November 5th. I have pre-shuffled these cards just a little bit for you so I'm only going to shuffle them for a moment. If something falls out, I will lay it down. just want to remind you that this may or may not resonate with you as it's for hundreds and thousands of people. Bits and pieces may and bits and pieces may not. If you are a new watcher and you want to know more about me, you can watch my welcome video. I will zoom this in in a moment. Now this is for the sign of Pisces. So it looks like this week you guys are probably thinking about a recent loss or a loss that you've had. The, your basis of your reading is the Five of Cups. So that tells me many of you have a loss on your mind of a relationship perhaps. Could be something else, but I think it has to do with a relationship. Perhaps something didn't turn out the way you had hoped. Maybe there was some kinds of obsessions. I'm not sure. Maybe somebody was spending too much time um, on their work or not giving the amount of money that they needed, you know, to a situation, you know. There's an obsession here, okay? And this is an obsession to some kind, something materialistic. Something needed to crash down, okay? It, meant, it was meant to crash down. Um, so that it's actually a blessing in disguise, okay? And it is right next to you, Pisces, okay? Because the moon represents Pisces. Something needed to end. That's all there is to it. There's something that needed to end because we have the death card in the tower. So that tells me that it had to end. So whatever it was, it was the right move, okay? So if you are having second thoughts, because many of you are still like sad over it or whatever, don't because it looks like it was the right move. I do see an unexpected choice in love. So perhaps somebody new might come into your life or a new opportunity, okay, might come in unexpectedly. Now this could be related to love or it could be related to work because I see something, some um, aspects of um, work here, all right? It feels like there was maybe some secrets, okay, or somebody felt like there was some secrets. Definitely there was something going on behind the scenes or somebody felt like there was something going on behind the scenes. Maybe it was you, maybe it was the other person. Feels like there was some overindulging, overindulging perhaps, maybe some obsessions or addictions that got in the way, all right? I feel like um, there was some kind of truth that came out or is about to come out. And it may make you sad or it did make you sad. And I feel like it's just time to let it go. And it's time for you to surrender. Even though you've been resisting letting it go, it's definitely time to let it go and head in a different direction. It feels like there's been some deceit here somewhere. Now, I don't know if... It's you or the other person, but it looks like there's some deceit. We have a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius as well. And we have a we have you. Uh, we have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We have Gemini. We have Taurus. We have Sagittarius. Um, and we have Scorpio again. I feel like there is something... Um, there's a spiritual aspect to this. It's like there's no secrets. There's no secrets because there, there can't be. There's an inner knowing somewhere. Either it's you or the other person that knows. You know, you know something. And even if somebody was trying to keep a secret, they couldn't. All right. I feel like there was a lot of conflicts that were going on, perhaps. Maybe it was in the past. Maybe it's going to happen this week. But it feels like things were out of balance and um, something needed to come crashing down. 
all right? And if it hasn't happened, it's going to happen this week. That's what the tower says. The tower comes in to say, something needs to end. We're going to help you with this, and we're going to bring you in something much better. Whenever this thing comes crashing down, it might cost you some money, okay? And I think many of you are probably resisting something and it has to do with money okay i think this this loss could have to do with money okay i mean it could have to do with not giving okay not give because this is the give and take card not being able to share not being able to give and it's financial all right not wanting to because this is an obsession all right it just feels like um you're going to have to struggle through something, struggle through a loss of some sort, and it could have to do with money, all right? And I just feel like you need to look at something from a new perspective, for sure, with that Queen of Swords here. You need to look at something from a new perspective, and I really believe that it has to do with money and love, okay? Both, because I think that love has to, you know, you, in order to be able to, um, head in this direction you need to let go of any obsessions okay that's that's what I see here and I, this is letting go you know letting go so maybe if you're working too much and you're not giving enough time to love okay and this is the new perspective where you need to actually give more to love because this is love you're only deceiving this is deceit up here so either you have been deceived or you're deceiving yourself or you're deceiving another person, okay? So, or somebody's deceiving you, okay? And you just, I think that you need to let go of something. I do. You need to let go. And it's connected to this obsession right here. Something, something needs to be let go of. And I think that you know what it is. I do. I think you know what it is. And I think you just have this fear, some kind of an illusion, okay? And, I, and it's a secret. There's some kind of secret that doesn't want to come out. And I don't know if it's yours or the other person's, but the fact of the matter is, is you know what it is. You do. You have a very strong intuition and there's really no secrets, okay, with you. But I, with that Six of Pentacles up there, there's something going on with the ability to give and take equally. So I'm not sure how that resonates with you, but I can see that it's caused a lot of conflicts. And you need to be able to let go, okay? And I think it's let go of money. I'm not sure. Or let, let go of your need to focus too much on work. Okay, so that, because there's not a whole lot of love here in this full, first poll. And this is a love reading. With the death card there, it says it's time for something to end. It's time for a change. Okay, it is. It's time for a change. Maybe it's the end of one phase of your life so that one a new one can be begin. Something more exciting. Okay, maybe um, where there's more equal give and take within a relationship all right so i just feel like many of you are are really having a rough week this week with something not turning out the way you had hoped perhaps your 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 hopes and your wishes were dashed and it could have been you know you were you were hoping that this something was going to work out and you were putting in all that you could put in except for financial i'm not sure I'm not sure, but I see financial obsession here, like not and not equal give and take. Now, I don't reverse the cards because I don't need to. I reverse them in my head once I lay them down if they need to be reversed. And I feel like there's an unequal give and take here, whether it's you or the other person. OK, and I feel that um, there's there's some uh, hidden forces. OK, there's some hidden forces that that are actually a blessing in disguise, okay? I think something came crashing down that needed to, all right? It needed to end. Something needed to end so that some, so that a, something new could start, all right? It feels like many of you haven't been really giving 
the equal, giving to love, okay? That's what I think that is. Giving the equal amount of time to love as you are, maybe your job or your finances or your home or whatever else. I just feel like, and maybe that's what the transformation is. Maybe well, that's why something broke down because you weren't giving what you needed to love. You need to be able to give unconditionally, okay? And so what I see is that perhaps there wasn't enough... Um, 50-50, like, okay, okay, I give 50% of my time to work and 50% of my time to love, okay? I don't think that was the case. I think that, you know, and that's what has you moping this week. You're, like, crying over something that didn't work out, and you and it was something that you were dreaming about, okay? It was, but, and it ended. It looks like it ended. It, you thought it was going to be here forever, but it ended, and it probably ended quite unexpectedly, okay? And I think that it probably ended. It has something to do with money. It does. It has something to do with money and time. Money and time. And it might have something to do with another person as well because there's some deceit up here. Somebody may feel like they've been deceived, like there's been some secrets because I see like somebody feels like there's been some secrets, whether it's you or the other person. Okay. The hangman says that... Um, somebody is resisting change or somebody has resisted change and it has to, I believe it has to do with money okay somebody has resisted um, seeing things differently all right somebody has resisted getting attached and I'm not sure if that's you Pisces or the other person but the hangman is the master of non-attachment not really attaching unconditionally okay and that causes strife. Right next to it is the Five of Wands. It causes strife. I see change. Perhaps a new love is going to show up for you. Pretty quickly, perhaps. Maybe you're going to... This is a new beginning in love. So maybe for many of you, you're going to start over. Or you're going to start over with somebody new. Okay? And it could happen very quickly. Maybe you go through a little awakening and you decide, okay, whatever this is, that is you, the, your fear of attachment or your fear of losing your money or your fear of love, maybe you decide to surrender and things change quickly. Now, I'm not sure if it's you or the other person, but I feel like there's some fears here and it has to do with attachment, okay? And perhaps you've been deceived in the past. Now, this is for the week of October 30th through November 5th. Remember, the basis of your reading is the Five of Cups. That's the card where somebody is crying over spilled milk. Some, something did not turn out the way you'd hoped, and you're moping over it. That's the basis of your reading. And I think it has to do with love, because that Page of Cups is right over there, right on top. And you're probably wondering, what could have I done? What can I do? What, you know? Or the other person is. Or perhaps you haven't really been concentrating on love. You've been focusing on your career. That's what this guy does. Focuses on his career more than love. Okay. And this is, this is where you need to balance it out. You need, this is the juggling. This is a change where you need to be able to give 50-50. If that's what you want. Okay. I think we, I mean, we ha definitely have some challenges here. Definitely, there's some challenges here. And I feel like um, right now, it's a time of observation. It's a time of um, thinking, okay? It's a time of um, figuring out, figuring out what the next step is. It's a time of... Uh, change okay we have these pa the page of swords the knight of swords the queen of swords um i mean i see that there's a lot of uh opinions being thrown at you people's opinions oh this and that and you're hearing all kinds of things and so you just don't know what to think 
Okay, there may be some gossip in your life, people thinking they know what you should do, telling you that this is this and that is that and blah, 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 and you, and you may be feeling like you don't know, okay? You may be feeling like, I don't even know what to do. You may be feeling mentally restless at this time. Okay, I feel like the happiness is in your hands. I feel like you do have some a love connection with somebody. Okay, but you, perhaps maybe you're focusing on your work more than you're focusing on love because I see that you need to balance with that two of pentacles and the six of pentacles underneath that love. And this is somebody who is more focused on their work and their and I do see there's a fear of a fear of attachment here. But I fear I feel that Perhaps you are deciding to look at something or you're thinking about looking at something from another perspective, okay? Um, I feel like you were hoping for happiness or you're looking for happiness in a very big way or you were happy before and you're crying over the past happiness that you've had. There, I have to show you what's at the bottom, the Two of Cups, okay? This is a soulmate connection. So I think many of you are probably unhappy about another person, many of you. And it's the fear of attachment that, or it's the lack of attachment that um, messed it up. And I'm just guessing, okay, I'm going by what the cards say, this hanged man, this non-attachment. And it feels like there was some hasty decisions where, and, and some words that were said that may be, re, may be regretted, okay? It, that's what it looks like. It looks like perhaps there was some opinions and, or other people's opinions or whatever the case may be. There's some opinions here. I do think that there was love, but there was also probably some gossip and other people in the picture, you know, that didn't have somebody's best interest at heart. I do see change. I see juggling. I see um, the need to balance work, money, and love. I'm going to get you a couple of my other cards and see what happens. I do see happiness though. I do. So if you many if some of you, and this may or may not resonate, are moping over a loss, crying over something that is gone, you know, it looks like by, you know, <laughs> happiness can can be had. It can. All right. All you have to do is um push through it. All right. Happiness is here, should you choose to accept it. All right? You need to take action. This tells me you need to take action with both these nights. And you should do it quickly. Because this is the night of fast action. Get moving. Do, do what you need to do. Be just. Do the right thing for you. Don't, don't listen to what anybody else says. Okay? Do what's right for you. That will do what's going to make you happy. All right? That's the bottom line. All right? There could be some observation, uh, you know, looking at somebody from afar, maybe on social media. Somebody could be watching you. You could be watching them. You could be looking for them. They could be looking for you. And perhaps you, you know, it leads to your happiness. I don't know. For many of you, a new love could come in should you give it the time of day. But many of you are very focused on your career and your finances more than you are love during this period. But you're moping over something because that's, that's the basis of your reading. Okay, this is crying over a loss. And I think it has to do with love. I really do. An ending in love. Ending in love, moping. And it had to do with some kind of money or obsession. Okay. And an obsession, if you put, if you work too much and you don't give, you know, you know what this is anyway. Your intuition is right on. You know what this is, Pisces. Pisces. You do. Anyway, what I was saying is that this is fast action. Get moving. Make it. Make a decision. And don't listen to anybody else. And this is action as well. Moving towards love. If you're looking, if you have somebody in mind, it's time to look at something from another perspective. And it's time to be honest with yourself and with the other person. Okay? It is. It's time to be honest and do the right thing for you. 
Do it quickly for love. That right there is an Angel Guidance card from Doreen Virtue, Angel Daily Guidance. And this is a card from Archangel Michael. And there it is. It's a long one, huh? This is for Pisces. The first card is acceptance. See yourself and others through the eyes of angels with unconditional love and acceptance. In this way, you inspire and lift everyone to their highest potential. Acceptance and unconditional love. One of my favorite words. It's what everybody wants, unconditional love. And that does include sharing everything. A favorable outcome from Arch Archangel Michael. My prayer. Thank you for the beautiful outcome to this situation, which is perfect and fair for everyone involved. Thank you, Archangel, Mi Archangel Michael, for helping me trust and have faith. So Pisces, this will resonate with some, and it won't resonate with all. I'll talk to you next week.